Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be trying out Mandy in Power League a lot more. So I've already had a little bit of a chance of playing in the past few days. Also been grinding a lot of Power League and a lot of people in my live stream. By the way, I'm going to be live streaming pretty much every single day except for the weekends on Twitch at 12 o'clock midday UK time. So make sure to check those out. But as I was saying, a lot of people on my live stream were asking about Mandy, whether she's good, whether it's worth unlocking her in the Brawl Pass. Because of course, every not everyone can afford a brawl pass and especially if you're free to play you can only afford one out of two brawl passes so of course you want to know whether it's actually worthwhile so before we jump into it make sure you use no credit code that'd be greatly appreciated and without further ado let's hop right into it all right guys jumping into the first game then so we've got a somewhat decent matchup piper is actually a really good counter to mandy i'm not too sure how Mandy's going to face off against some of these brawlers but we are actually at legendary three i think like three or four games off of masters and i was trying to save it for my live stream but we're going to try out mandy in power league i've already tried it out a bunch let's see how well she fares off they could have easily gone with like a sprout or something else as a last option but they've gone with the piper in instead so I've already hit two shots onto the piper here so again want to try and get the angle onto these guys and a lot of times with mandy you want to be standing still like honestly with these shots are so easy to hit when you're standing still but it just feels all good to play like you're literally watching me stand still and try and get the most use out of this brawler so already doing pretty well so far i'm just going to continue to spew out some shots over this way not really connecting onto any of these but again it's a little bit hard to tell where these guys are because i'm literally shooting at the edge of my range so again looking like uh, piper's going to push forward here let's see if we can get some connections onto her. i do manage to take her down and that should be a double super perhaps well we hit one onto penny at least and that's going to be the takedown unfortunately the damage gear activated is going to kill me but a really good job on mandy so far so I've, I've literally not had really the chance to use her a lot of times i'm a bit too scared to use new brawlers but i think in this setting it's been pretty decent they went for the piper to try and counter but you saw how that kind of fed off here so i may as well just run up on this penny to be honest just because i know i can maybe take her down this piper as well i may as well just i was gonna say pop the gadget and try and take her down but we're getting a lot of percentage right here so just try and heal up trying to get in a safe distance to just shoot uh, at these guys so penny's going around this way i'm not too sure why i'm gonna be able to hit some shots onto her and maybe take down the squeak let's see oh okay that's super sometimes is a little bit annoying to hit but we're doing a decent job so far so squeak super is going to miss that's going to be a loose super on the middle piper is just running in let's see if we can get a connection onto penny i don't know how that one just missed right there so again just going to use my max distance to try and hit some of these guys let's see if we can connect onto anyone we do actually get a shot onto squeak right there or we'll squeak nearly dead okay this is so awkward though i feel like i'm a noob when i just stand still but i've got to do it i've got to do it so Again, trying to juke up and try and get some positioning onto these guys. I'm getting close to my super, so once I get that one, can't use it just yet, though, because that penny turret is going to lock down on me. Looks like uh, these guys are going to take us out. I'm going to use my super, hopefully, on the pipe. Okay, that's a nice takedown onto the pipe right there. So, again, I'm going to try and juke my way up penny with the barrel. It's going to be a little bit annoying, but we might be able to get it down right here. So, that's going to be the takedown onto the penny. Really good stuff right there. Squeak's going to get taken down as well. And maybe if we get into a good position, we can probably get this piper and penny down overall then so let's just use the super over here that's going to be the piper down that's going to be the squeak basically dead as well and the penny so mandy pretty much carrying inside of this one i'm really unexpected good start but i feel like they were slowly getting into the game so i don't want to be too optimistic right here got to make sure that i'm still focused up so again any range you know especially on a map like this basically on those maps like bridge too far any kind of knockout map which is actually really good on just any map that has like them predetermined lanes you know you're gonna have a really easy matchup and just keeping your distance it's really hard for the enemies to actually dodge this shot right here so we are gonna get there okay no nope. we're gonna miss squeak completely there and that is just a really bad fail so you can see the downsides and the plus sides to mandy like if you hit your shots of course it's gonna be amazing but you know just a couple of missed shots is really gonna allow them to push up close to you and take you down pretty easily so yeah, Piper, unfortunately, connecting that gadget onto me right there. Let's see if we can continue the pre-fire. I want to get into a little bit of a better position here. Okay, looks like Squeak is pushing up a little bit too much. Oh, it's, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get as much use out of this, um, just the uniqueness with her abilities, but it's pretty hard, right? It's uh, You've got to be in the right, uh, the right position. Of course, Penny is actually a great counter to Mandy because, of course, if he's standing still, that turret is going to 
lock onto you. So I'm going to use my super right here to hopefully get one of these guys. Unfortunately, I don't really connect onto anyone. And this is what I'm talking about. I knew from the get-go that they've kind of wisened up to Mandy. And uh, definitely know how to play a little bit better against us. So Piper hitting some shots onto me, unfortunately, here. Let's see if I can get onto the zone. Piper flashing a lot. Uh, let's see if we can hide into this bush. Let's try and heal up a little bit. B is definitely tapping right here. Now we're starting to warm up. This is looking a lot better. So, again, I'm going to pop this gadget to see if anyone wants to get in range. Looks like Squeak's going to be respawning. That's what I'm talking about. Can't stand still when there's a penny turret in my line of sight. That's just absolutely terrible right here. They're definitely doing a much better job this time around. I'm one shot off Super so maybe... I can get this super pretty soon. Piper's just standing still, giving me my free super, and that squeak frozen, and that squeak dead. Maybe we can make the comeback here. So again, gonna try and juke up a little bit. That's definitely a wasted turret from that penny right here. Maybe if we can get into an aggro position, like Loki can be a little bit aggressive with Mandy, just because you can get a lot of taps in. That's oh no, that's somehow Piper surviving. Okay, we're definitely gonna lose this one. No way we can come back unless B. Just gets like a monstrous triple kill, okay? We need to be a lot more careful last uh, in this next round. That that wasn't really the best. Probably play a few games, hopefully. I don't want to force pick Mandy because it's definitely a brawler where you can't just go everywhere. You know, there's some brawlers in Brawl Stars, no matter the game mode or map, you can just go it. So, yeah, hopefully Lou can go in the middle this time around. It's like Squeak is on my lane this time. Let's see if we can get some connections onto him. We do actually manage to land our gadget, and that is what I'm talking about. The gadget is actually pretty strong. If you compare that with the super or just the main attack, it's looking pretty good. But unfortunately, Piper is dodging a lot of his shots. I don't want to peek shot just yet. I was kind of hoping she destroyed some of our walls so then I could get into a bit of a better position. Squeak being so aggro right here. I've got to be careful because that damage gear is uh, pretty nasty. So... Looks like we're going to hit this shot onto Piper right here. I was hoping for maybe a double connection to charge my super instantly, but that is not the case. We're only two shots away from our super. This is much better this time around. No penny turret set up. Uh, no Piper spawn trapping us. So, yeah, we're looking okay. Unfortunately, this Piper is tapping like crazy. Maybe this is the Piper that was on our team on our stream. That uh, Piper was definitely playing really well on our stream. And now we have super to hand. So let's see if we can connect this super onto the Piper right there. Unfortunately, we do miss. Let's see if we can sneak up. Okay, this Piper, I don't know, has some war hacks or something. I don't know how they knew we were in that position. Squeak going to use Gadget on the mid, unfortunately. And because I missed my super, now it's going to take me a long time to actually build it back up. And yeah, that isn't good for our team. So we're going to get a slow onto Squeak. Unfortunately, we're not going to have enough time to actually get another shot onto him. Gonna have to stand still here to hit some more shots. That's gonna be a great takedown from our Luvo. Let's see if we can get this squeak. Squeak's gonna go down right here. And oh no, that's a missed shot on the Piper. The Piper is, I, I don't know, this Piper is insane. Definitely uh, playing really good on top of the zone right here. Let's see if we can get this squeak down. Again, I missed my super, so taking such a long time to build it back up. And this really isn't looking the best, guys, is it? Not looking good whatsoever, but. We've got to be raw in our gameplay and just showcase whether Mandy is actually good or not. So, I'm just going to run onto the zone right here. I mean, there's only about 20% in it, so maybe we can make something happen. But it's just not looking the greatest whatsoever here. And we haven't really connected our supers. It's kind of how the tale is. If you get a couple of good kills with a super, then you're going to win the game. But if you miss your super, you're just pretty much useless with Mandy. Let's see if we can maybe hit one more shot onto one of these guys. Not looking very likely. And this is looking like it's a loss, unfortunately. So... Mandy, uh, very hit or miss. I felt like I really wasn't doing anything for my team. I don't really know about this brawler. Let's hop into the next game. All right, guys, going into the final game right here. So an unfortunate loss in hot zone. I think Mandy isn't really strongest in hot zone. I kind of expected it though, just because she's a sharpshooter. Not many sharpshooters are actually good in hot zone. So yeah, knockout is surely one of our better game modes. I've already faced off and also had on my team a Mandy on this map in particular. And she's pretty strong, but me myself will have to see if I'm good enough with this brawler here. So, gotta be careful of the brawlers looking at to sneak in. Looks like Belle's gonna get a couple of taps onto me. She's probably gonna use the gadget right here. Okay, no, looks like Grom is going to cover my back. Luckily, I was, we were pretty screwed. My teammate's definitely popping off, and that's looks like it's the first round win. I mean, a little bit unexpected. Uh, of course, again, you gotta be really careful of brawlers like Belle. They, they will outrange me without uh, this kind of thing right here so i've got to be careful if they get into range you know they can two or three tap me so slowly i've got to work my way up here my teammates again pretty much carry me so slowly working my way up you've kind of got to slowly 
kind of jiggle up just so you know uh, there's no opponents kind of near you and that's going to be another takedown and honestly i haven't done anything all i've done is make sure no one is sneaking up that way and yeah looks like grom's going to be able to kill the sprout right then <laughs> it's the first knockout win i literally haven't done anything the same it goes in my live stream today i've just been playing absolutely terrible it's okay, so going on to the third and final round then so literally done nothing so far in this game with mandy and i was talking about knockout being one of her better game modes but still i feel like it's not really completely the best for her so let's try and sneak up against this rico i mean i'm not playing the best myself so maybe it isn't a mandy problem but let's see right here so slowly gotta work my way up that's the thing with mandy right i want to keep at max distance so kind of gotta jiggle my way up the map again jiggle up a little bit because i know rico will be definitely pretty close and i can just be in well just standing still i'm at such a hindrance to my team so rico's gonna push up incredibly aggro right here he's nearly gonna take me down i think he's got his super so i've got to be careful right here so good job i backed away because uh that rico would have definitely killed me sprout with the walls it's one thing that just destroyed me last game as well his sprout was definitely really tough for mandy to deal with and now just a rico left alone we're gonna be able to take him down so do i stay down the left i'm actually gonna go down the right this time last time sprout was just suckling his walls against me but i gotta go for it so let's see right here sprout is in mid so let's see we get the slow onto bell right there unfortunately i haven't got my super just yet because kind of every game has uh, only lasted two rounds it does take me a while to build up my super but maybe if you pair sandy with like a bow you could definitely get some tasty supers on knockout in general so just gonna look to actually no, i'm just gonna go down the left hand side i want to help out my grom as much as possible especially against a sprout who definitely counters mandy until i get out my super i've got to be really careful looks like grom or oh, nearly got the connection right here let's see if we can get any angles here that's gonna be sprout dead he doesn't even realize i've got super that is absolutely insane one thing you definitely want to do a lot of times with mandy is sit in a bush when you use super because obviously they're not going to tell if you got super or not and you're just going to get a free kill like that so we get a one tap onto the rico right here we should be able to clutch this one up with a grom super we need to make sure that rico isn't advancing forward he's going to use his gadget but we should be able to use our super to basically get him down right there and that's going to be bell basically one shot and dead so i mean you've got to really work hard and it's definitely a more high skill cap brawler in mandy but you can see a knockout it's definitely a decent option it just still feels a little bit awkward so now a final verdict on mandy then so for me I don't think Mandy is the strongest. Maybe as people learn her mechanics and learn this completely new mechanic, maybe she might be a little bit stronger. But for me, I still feel like she's a little bit too weak. I feel like standing still is just at such a negative effect that it doesn't, like, the positives don't outweigh the negatives, basically. So I feel like she's just a mid kind of brawler. I won't really think about picking her except for, like, a really open map. But on ladder, she's really fun. So it's kind of up to you on this one. I think she's fun to play. Her super is really satisfying if you hit multiple people with it. But if you're looking for like a competitive account, I wouldn't really recommend uh, getting Mandy. Although they do tend to buff chromatic brawlers quite quickly if they're bad, like Otis, for example. But no comparison to Buster, right? Buster was absolutely insane and still is probably one of the best brawlers. You're not going to really get the most value picking this one up. But again, really up to you whether you like this character or not. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.